Okay, today I'm going to be asking you to fill in uh, your notes that you've taken on different types of functions. You should have already had some notes, uh, maybe with less than two, somewhere near the front of your notebook about a constant, linear, quadratic, and absolute value function. We're going to talk about some polynomials. This is um, kind of a review of what we did last unit, but we'll get into some stuff from this unit as well. Uh, polynomials, um, remember, had two basic shapes based on their odd degree or even degree. A polynomial is just where you have different terms. You notice in this first one, I have two different terms, and you can have different powers of x. The degree is based on the highest power of x, and if my polynomial is in standard form, it should go from the highest power to the lowest power, but the degree is always the highest power. Now, my y-intercept is the constant term, the term on the end, so this time I have nothing on the end, so it's like a plus zero. So that means a y-intercept of zero. Since there was no visible constant term, the constant term is zero. Now, if I was going to look at the graph of this, I could try factoring it. I can factor out an x squared, which leaves me an x squared and then x minus one. That means my solutions or my x-intercepts are zero and one. So I have a the y-intercept at zero with an x-intercept at zero, of course, and then also an x-intercept at one right there. Uh, now, since this has a square on it, I know that this has a multiplicity of two. That means it's going to kind of bounce at that point, and then it's going to turn around and go back through. So in this graph, I can tell I have a local minimum there. Uh, by local minimum, I mean it's not the minimum point in the entire graph, but it's the minimum point of that little valley. And then right here, I have a local maximum at zero, zero, because with that multiplicity of two, it was not only a zero, it was also a turning point. So that means it's the maximum point on that graph. So uh, that's what we have so far as we um, look at uh, this graph. And uh, for this, since the end behavior is going in uh, different directions, you're never going to have an absolute minimum or maximum. Your domain, since there is no domain restriction for these polynomial functions, is going to be all real numbers. And since there's no, um, although there's a local min and max, there is no absolute highest or lowest point. Your range is also all real numbers because you can tell on this end it's going down toward negative infinity and this end up toward positive infinity. Nothing skips in the middle, so domain and range are both all real numbers. Okay, as we look at the even degree polynomial, uh, once again, just uh, different terms of x added together, we're looking for the highest exponent, x to the fourth. My y-intercept is the constant term, in this case, one. So I will have a y-intercept right there at one. And if I wanted to uh, graph this, I could try factoring it, which would factor as an x minus one and an x minus one. And each of those would factor as an x plus 1, x plus 1. I won't take the time to write it twice because they'll give me the same factors. So I'm basically going to have a negative 1. And since I would have two of those, that would have a multiplicity of 2. Oops. And I'd have a positive 1 with a multiplicity of 2. So both a negative 1 and a positive 1 with a multiplicity of 2. That means I have a value there at positive 1 and a value there at negative 1. And with the multiplicity, I would kind of bounce on both of those. And I would have a graph that looks something like that. Now, as you uh, come across that graph, you're going to have um, these values here. This is going to be a local um, minimum at this point. At this point, we have a local maximum. And at this point, I have a local minimum. In this case, because it is an even degree, um, the ends go in the same direction. So if the ends go in the same direction, what I'm going to have is my domain is going to be all real numbers. And then my range is going to be going up in both directions. So it's going to start at my minimum value, which is zero. We can see that both of these local minimums actually are absolute minimum. It's the lowest point on the entire graph. So that goes from zero to infinity for your range. So, um, pretty much even degree polynomials will have a range that's limited by your max, absolute maximum or minimum. Odd degree polynomials, since the ends are going in different directions, will have a range of all real numbers. Uh, we'll go ahead and in the next video, we'll talk about some different types of functions.